हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू नजार दिस इज रोहित शर्मा एंड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वी एस एस वी एस एस टू थाउजेंड एटीन पेपर पार्ट टू इन विच क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी इज इन्वॉल्व हेयर ओके इन द प्रीवियस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ वी एस एस टी टू थाउजेंड एटीन ओके Now this is the second part in which we are going to solve to uh, 21 to 40. After this, two parts will be uh, will be there in which around question number 41 to question number 60 will be there and question number 61 to question number 80 will be there. Okay. So before uh, now before wasting time, so we are going to start our question number 21. 3 to 8 decoder decoder is shown in the figure. Find uh, find the output x2 x1 x0 when Uh, x2 x1 x0 are the input okay so here uh in this uh this nor gate in this nor gate we are having output from d1 d4 and d7 now this is a nor gate so on nor gate when you solve the expression you will get output from d0 that is d0 d2 d3 d3 d5 and d6 so If it is a OR gate, then uh, then the output will be from one four six one four seven, and if it is a NOR gate, then output will be from zero two three five six. Okay, if you you if you can't understand from this concept, you can simply solve by taking this D not as A bar B bar C, okay, D one as A bar uh, A B C bar like this, and you can solve it. By taking this, okay. So option B here will be the correct answer. That is F is equal to summation F zero comma two comma three comma five comma six. Okay. Now question number twenty two. In a microprocessor, weight states are used to option C. That is interface slow peripherals to the processor. Now question number third. What is the order of the filter? What is the order of the filter when the gain decreases at the rate of sixty dB per decade? Now suppose if you have studied about Bode plot. If you know how to make Bode plot, if a single pole, if a single pole is at the origin, at the origin, then Bode plot start from minus twenty dB per decade. Okay. Now, if the there are three poles, three continuous poles are at the origin, then the Bode plot starts from starts from sixty dB per decade. So this is a third order low pass filter. That is option C is the correct answer here. Now, question number twenty four. If road, if radio receiver amplifier all the signal frequency equally well, it is said to have high fidelity. Now, what do you mean by fidelity? The fidelity of a receiver is the ability to reproduce all the modulating frequencies equally. That is the fundamental frequency and the harmonics of the fundamental frequency. Second, the radio receiver should have high fidelity or accuracy, or accuracy without introducing any distortion. third if a radio receiver amplifies all the signal frequency equally well it is said to have high fidelity okay so for example in an in a in an amplitude modulation broadcast the maximum audio frequency is 5 kilohertz then the receiver with high fidelity must produce the entire frequency up to 5 kilohertz okay now question number 25th is based upon transients if you have studied transients uh, i have only seen one question based upon transients so let's see this question they have said They have said in the circuit shown the voltage source 4 volt has been applied for a long time before the switch open. That means at t less than zero the switch is closed. So I am redrawing the circuit. This is 1k. So this is capacitor will be open circuit. Open circuit at the switch is <clears throat> as the switch is at steady state at that time. So at steady state capacitor acts as an open circuit. Okay. So this is 4 volt. This 4 volt. And this is three k ohm here, okay. So this is I R current. So what will be the voltage across three k? Let's we can apply uh, voltage across three k. That is, I am taking this as V two. So V two will be equal to we are we can apply voltage division rule. That is three k upon one k plus three k, which is equal to four k. Four k into four volt, okay. So this will be equal to one three milli volt. Sorry. Sorry, three volt will be the correct answer. Okay, three volt uh, will be the voltage across three ohm. So, what will be the current flowing through three ohm? Then I R will be equal to that is I R zero minus that is the uh, time less than zero. Okay, so this will be equal to voltage upon the resistance three k. So, three upon three k, three upon three k will be equal to one milli ampere, one milli ampere. So, at They have said us to find the current IR zero plus. Now we know that IR zero minus is always equal to IR zero plus 
therefore in transient state so this will be equal to 1 milli ampere as the correct answer option D okay now question number 26 now JFET is considered as a voltage control device because the drain current is controlled by the gate voltage the drain current is controlled by the gate voltage therefore option B is the correct answer next question okay the initial content of a 4 bit serial in parallel out okay serial in parallel out right shift resistor that is 1100 we are giving this okay so this is an XNOR gate here this is an XNOR gate so for XNOR root table you know that 0 uh, this will be uh, 1001 that is for 00 it is 1 for 01 it is 0 for 10 it is 0 and for 11 it is 1 so this is the XNOR gate root table after 4 clock pulses the counter of the shift register that clock 1 at clock 1 this is first is 1 1 0 0 so at clock 1 0 0 is 1 so it will be shifted here to 1 1 1 0 at clock 2 1 0 1 0 is 0 so 0 1 1 1 then clock 3 1 1 is 1 so 1 0 1 1 then again clock 4 after clock 4 1 1 is 1 so 1 1 0 1 so 1 1 0 1 is the correct answer so option B is the correct answer here okay so <clears throat> question number 28 it is based upon analog to digital converter or digital to analog converter type question a 4 bit R to R digital to analog converter has a reference voltage that is V reference is given here as 5 volt now what is the analog output for the input code 0 1 0 1 so here V naught is is equal to the formula is formula for R to R digital to analog converter is V naught is equal to minus V upon R bracket a n minus 1 upon 2 to the power 1 plus a n minus 2 upon 2 to the power 2 plus and so on up to a naught upon 2 to the power n into the reference voltage so now here here a3 this is 0 1 0 1 input code so a3 equal to 0 this is a3 this is a2 this is a1 and this is a naught so simply putting the putting here so this is the minus 5 r upon r bracket bracket uh, a naught is uh, sorry this is a n minus 1 so this will be 1 by 2 the, then this will be 0 by 4 this is 1 by 8 so this will be 0 by 60 simply putting the uh, putting the values in this formula okay so you will get minus 3.125 as the correct answer here so just you can do this type of question easily okay so find the value of current i here so this question is based upon kcl okay kirchhoff's current law now from uh, what do uh, what do you mean by Kirchhoff current flow? The sum of uh, sum of incoming current, the sum of incoming current is always equal to the sum of outgoing current. Okay, sum of outgoing current. So sum of incoming current. Here the sum of incoming current. Incoming at this node, the sum of incoming currents are six ampere plus two ampere. So six plus two, and here outgoing are three plus five. Is equal to 3 plus 5 therefore 8 is equal to 8 therefore KCL is verified here therefore no current is flowing in these two branches zero current is flowing in these two branches so 1 ampere will directly flow through this branch therefore I is equal to 1 ampere option C is the correct answer okay so let's see this question question number 30 okay so this is a bit long question in the circuit given below all the register values are in now ohm find the voltage across 10 ohm register here okay i am taking this node as a this node as b okay now at this node the voltage at voltage is 5 volt that therefore i can say vb is equal to 5 volt here okay simple so from uh, I, I am applying nodal at uh, at node a so va upon 40 minus a 0.25 current plus VA minus 5 volt upon 10 ohm is equal to 0 okay so I am taking 0.25 at the RHS side so this will be equal to VA minus 5 upon 10 which is equal to 0 0.25 so 40 will be the LCM here so 40 VA VA plus 10 4 VA minus 4 5 is 20 which is equal to 0 0.25 okay so 5 VA 5 VA minus 20 which is equal to 40 into 0.25 this is equal to 2.4 into 4 which is equal to 1 point 0.25 into 40 uh, this will be equal to 25 into 400,000 and 
this will be equal to 10 okay this will be equal to 10 then 5 va is equal to 30 so from here va will here you will get as 30 divided by 5 this is equal to 6 volt okay 6 volt now we know that vav that is the the voltage across 10 ohm will be va minus vb which is equal to va minus vb which is equal to 6 volt is the va voltage and minus vb that is equal to minus 5 volt which is equal to 1 volt will be the correct answer here option a is the correct answer okay now question number 31 now question number 31 uh, the logic output of the following three gates so this when two inputs are combined this will work as a not gate so from here when a is input then a bar will be the output here b is input b bar will be the output now a bar b bar here a bar plus b bar whole bar okay from here you will get a b as the output so given gate is an and gate okay option c is the correct answer question number 32 okay so this question is based upon op amp that is operational amplifiers okay so due to virtual ground we know that v1 the voltage v1 and voltage v2 will be equal at applying kcl at node 2 i am applying kcl here this will be equal to v2 minus 3 upon 10k upon v2 minus 6 upon 20 is equal to 0 from here you will get v2 equal to 4 volt if v2 is equal to 4 volt then v1 is also equal to 4 volt okay now applying kcl at this node so th at this node then v1 upon 100k that is 4 upon 100k plus 4 minus v0 this is v0 v0 on 100k from here you can get v0 equal to 0 0.8 volt that is the correct answer next question this is one if 110 base x is equal to 132 base 4 then x is equal to simple so then here you can solve it like this 1 into x square plus 1 into x to the power 1 plus 0 into x to the power 0 is equal to 1 into 4 to the power square plus 3 into 4 to the power 1 plus 2 into 4 to the power 0 from here you will get x square plus x plus 1 sorry 0 and the 0 so it will be 0 is equal to 16 plus both is a 12 plus uh, 2 from here you can solve uh, solve uh, the equation you will get x value as 5 and minus 6 so minus 6 negative base cannot be negative therefore base 5 is a base 5 okay next question question number 33 sorry 34 the energy required to move 60 coulomb charge through a potential difference of 1.5 volt so energy required to move 30, 60 coulomb charge will be 1.5 into 60 which is equal to 90 joule option b is the correct answer next question which of the following oscillator can be used where high stability of frequency is used crystal oscillator option a question number 36 in a bjt bipolar junction transistor the type of configuration which will have both voltage gain and current gain common common emitter is the only configuration which can have both the voltage and gain and the current gain as high power gain is also high the phase relationship of 180 degree in input and output and the input and output resistors are medium now on question number 37 okay in a object oriented language like c plus plus what does a class hold class is a three compartment box containing the name data members and the member functions okay remember so option c you can say both data members and the function question number 38 the maximum power dissipation of a transistor is 100 millivolt if vc is equal to 28 20 beta is this beta is 100 what is the maximum collector current we know that power dissipation is equal to vce into ic max so vc is 20 IC max from here you can find IC max 100 IC max is equal to 100 milliwatt divided by 20 which is equal to 5 milliampere is the correct answer so these questions are easy okay so you can do these type of question by your own also find the voltage V naught if VI is equal to 0 0.2 volt this is VI 0 0.2 volt okay so first you have to solve this you have to find voltage at this node okay I am applying KCL at this node then VI vi minus 0 0.2 vi minus 0 0.2 sorry this is v1 v1 minus 0 0.2 divided by 5k plus v1 minus vp we have taken this as vp vp upon 25k is equal to 0 from here you can say 6 v1 minus v1 is equal to va okay now due to virtual grind v1 is equal to 0 v2 should be 0 and va is equal to minus 1 from here you can easily solve v naught is equal to 6 volt okay you can clarify it with this solution sorry 
you can clarify it with this solution okay if you have any doubt related to this question you can ask me and for this option c is the correct answer now the last question for this video uh, so this is a simple combine is this is simple circuit is given okay you have to just find the output here so this is a nand gate this is also a nand gate this is also a nand gate so here this is ab bar this is cd bar this is ef bar okay now this is also triple input nand gate so ab bar into cd bar into ef bar total bar so you can apply de morgan theorem here you will get ab plus cd plus ef as the correct answer option b okay if you have any doubt related to this you can ask me in the youtube comment section till then bye we will see in a part 3 okay so bye bye